2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Valero Texas Open is about to begin. Hi, I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam, and we're at the Greg Norman Design TPC San Antonio. Greg was known for being the greatest and straightest driver of golf ball. You pretty much got to do that from the first tee here. Yes, in fact, at 454 yards, a par four. I'd rather start off with number 10. Can we just go do that? No, we have to stay here. The wind here makes a significant difference. If it's back into the wind, it plays substantially longer, but downwind, it all of a sudden turns into a gentle opening hole. Bunker in the front, that is okay, but not great, but long anywhere back and left is absolutely dead. You'll be thrilled with making a four here. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. TPC San Antonio, Rich, is one of the stern tests on the PGA Tour, and you get an examination right out of the gates. Second shot on this golf course, Luke, is one of the most difficult on this golf course. A deep bunker out to the right. The green runs away on the right-hand side. A tiny target for sure with the second shots. This putt about 11 feet in distance. Oh, what a way to build momentum early. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Gee, Rich, that's a positive start, isn't it? Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? Luke. Coming off a birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. Second shot on the second. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. They're in the bunker. Got a chance to get up and down. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. What a shot. Let's go ahead and put the old stink eye on another one. Currently at three under for the event. And coming off the Eagle, feeling quite proud of themselves. A big chance here at the next. Opting for the five iron. Oh, that's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. It's good off the blade. And that's for birdie. Well hold. He finds himself in a share of the lead. This hole's a tough two-shotter. A long par four. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough.
Going with the six iron here. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. Wonderfully played. And that should secure the par. Well done. Currently at minus four overall. Well, TPC San Antonio gives you a few chances to get after the golf course, Rich. And right here at the fifth, there's a decision to be made off the tee. This is an excellent opportunity to be brave. Knock it on with the driver. If you lay back with an iron, a very straightforward pitch. But I just don't see the players wanting to lay up. Now oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Quality shot, that one. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. And that will take him to five under. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Well struck. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Mm, that's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. He's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Looks like they've got the five wood. Left yourself an opportunity. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. And that will take him to seven under. He sits in first position. Golf is a game of confidence, and I like it. Taking the big dog off the tee. Nice birdie at the last. Let's see what they can produce here. Oh, great swing there. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Interesting choice of the driver here. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. And here we are with the third shot.
Yeah, that one will play. This putt just five feet away from the hole. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take him to eight under. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Coming off a string of four birdies. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Oh, well played. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. He just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And let's have another look at that one. <laughs> Leading by four strokes after that one. We've reached the beginning of the back nine. The tee is yours at the 10th. Oh, that was pummeled into submission. Around 110 yards to go. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. And choosing the eight iron here. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. This would be a great up and down from this spot. attempt putting for par and down she goes managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort it's time to begin this powerful hole Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Going with the eight iron here. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. <laughs> Nicely done. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four.
Well, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Wind's blowing from left to right. They're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Chosen the pitching wedge here. And not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Well, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? This looks like around 29 feet. Oh, just missed. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after this hole, that's how it looks. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. This would be a great up and down. Oh, great shot. Holes out for a birdie. Gotta love this. This player is in fuego. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Leading by five shots after that. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. That's heading for the fairway. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Might well, it be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Tracking. Oh, super putt that. What an Eagle. He's currently sitting in first place. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Well, this should find the short grass. Time for the second shot at the 15. Going with the hybrid. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Slim chance here for Birdie, but you never know.
Shame it didn't drop. You'll happily just go ahead and tap that in. Just a simple tap in for par on this one. Ooh, that is some pretty good breathing room. Out in front by a bunch. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Only one other place I can think of, and that is the sixth at Riviera. A larger green than the sixth, but bunkers galore. Watch out for the one right in the middle. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. And coming up well short. And that should secure the par. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Still in the lead now after that hole. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? As we get down the stretch here at TPC San Antonio, there's a number of options that can be taken. This 17th is a fascinating hole. Luke, if it's playing downwind, a driver is a must. If it's back into the wind, take out the iron for safety. That's in the sand. Setting up from the first cut here in the green. They could hold it from here. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Eight feet to the cup. It's got a chance. And the punt will go. What a great display of resilience on this hole. In the bunker with their tee shot, and that is a very good save. Leading by six strokes after that one. Well, while the closing hole at TPC San Antonio can be reached in too rich, it's all set up by the tee shot. Tee shot must find the fairway. If not, you have water hazards left and bunkers right that will gobble up that second shot if you're slightly out of position. Wow, that was just striped. Time for the second shot on the 18th. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Nicely done. Getting ready to play their third. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. Well, any victory in the Lone Star State is one her joy. Congratulations to our Valero Texas Open winner. I got to say, this was a tough, a hard-earned victory. The conditions out there this week were brutal all around, and they know it. And I got to say that I I'm a little jealous right now, Luke, because the champion gets a nice pair of boots and a beautiful, sexy pair of boots they are. A little jealous, but, you know, I got a bunch of pair of boots too, so.
Well, Rich, after that hot start, it's probably a little surprise that this player powered through to victory. Luke, that was the performance of a lifetime. Hats off. They dominated every facet of the game. Never let their foot up off the gas. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.